<laughs> let go of the fear and have some fun that's when right. you can have some fun. That's right. That's right. But that's it's easy to hear this story, but I'm thinking, you know, in a jury, you've got all these new people. How do you make it different than other attorneys in that you're both in that same situation? How do you make it different? It's hard for me to say because I I know that people think it's different, but to me, it's just normal. I mean, I do tell a couple stories. Uh, one thing I always do that they get a kick out of is I tell a couple jokes that are real things like it's really important if you especially if you're in a small town that your jurors don't know each other and the reason for or at least don't know each other well because the reason for that is people don't want to lose a friend by make by following what they think should happen in a jury when they really strongly believe it should happen so the stronger of the two will win and that person will vote on their side even though they don't believe it and i need them to vote the way they believe and so i always tell this story while they're looking around and trying to get to know each other about this jury i had and, it, and this is a true story it happened in crawford county and there was a young man nice looking guy and I forgot what he did for a living. And then I asked this question, does anybody here know anybody else on the jury? You related anybody else here, know anybody else here? And a few hands went up. But in particular, I called on him first. And he said, that's my mother-in-law over there on the seat number three. And so I went to her first, kind of, and I said, Miss So-and-so, your son-in-law is juror number so-and-so. If he gets in the top 12 with you and you heard the evidence in this case, would his opinion about the evidence sway you? In other words, is he going to be, you going to kind of vote your own ideas or are you going to be swayed by what he tells you to do? And she said, oh, I absolutely would vote my own ideas. And I went back to him and I said, Mr. So-and-so, your mother-in-law will be independent. Will you vote your own ideas or if she has a way she wants you to vote, will you change it? And he said, I will do whatever she tells me, whenever she tells me, however she tells me. It was really funny. And so they always laugh about that. They think that's funny, and they get then why it's important to let me know. So th I don't know, just that sort of thing. It's not all. It's just I just try to make them laugh. How did you learn about that? Was that back from your Wash U no, days? No, I think it's just... I think it's just natural to me. I think it's just, what can I say to this jury to relax them and make them laugh without making belittling what's going on? Because it's important. If we're there in a case, it's an important case to people in that courtroom. So you've got to be really careful about walking that line because you don't want to be glib.